Okay, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install FileZilla FTP server on our Windows 2008 uh, platform. Uh, what I've already went ahead and done is fired up Internet Explorer and went to the FileZilla uh, website and downloaded the installation file, which you can see right here. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and double click that to launch the installer file. And we get a security warning. Yes, we want to run this file. And I'm going to agree to the uh, license agreement. And most likely you just want the standard install. You can go ahead and choose the defaults on that. Um, the destination folder for my source file will just leave at defaults. Uh, the FileZilla server, it's important that we set this uh, to install as a service started with Windows. That way if Windows restarts, our FileZilla FTP server will start up right with it. Now this setting here asks how we want the uh, FileZilla administrative interface to load. Um, I don't like it to load every time I log in, so what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and change that um, to start manually whenever I need it. So we'll go ahead and install this program. And we're done. Now next steps are to go ahead and connect to the server. We're going to go ahead and configure an FTP user and some uh, properties for our server. Okay, so this is our administrative interface. Uh, what we're typically going to use is this icon right here. Uh, this is the user icon, so we'll go ahead and create a new user. We're going to go ahead and add a user. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be the login name when we log into the FTP server. Just call it FTP user. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a password. Now once we create the user, we have to define what folder we're going to be connecting to where we're going to upload and download our files. So we're going to go out to Shared Folders, and I'm going to click Add and select the folder that I want to use. I've already created my folder called FTP root on the C drive. So for this particular user, um, the home FTP folder is going to be FTP root. Now what I want to do is I want to select the permissions. Uh, in this case, I want this particular user to have read, write, delete, and append on the files. And for the directories, I want this user to be able to create, delete, list, and inherit by the subdirectories. Now you can set whatever permissions you want. You can see it's pretty granular, but for this case, we're going to give this user pretty much full control. We're going to hit OK and we're done. Now an important part to note is Windows 2008 has the firewall enabled by default. So before we can even connect to the server via our FTP client, we're going to go ahead and give a, uh, add a rule in the Windows firewall. So under administrative tools, we're going to go ahead and go to Windows firewall. and we're going to create an inbound rule. We're going to go ahead and do a new rule. Since FTP uses dynamic ports, it's best that we just allow the entire program. So we'll go ahead and select program, hit next, and we're going to browse to where FileZilla server was installed, uh, which was the C drive. Program Files, FileZilla Server, and here's our executable right here, FileZilla Server. So let's go ahead and allow that. Allow the connection, and we're going to apply this rule uh, to all the profiles. And let's give it a name. And we'll finish. Our rule is added, our user is created, and we're good to go. And that's how we install FileZilla server on our 2008 server.